Welcome to Reach Reporting. In this video, we are going to give you an overview of the power of Reach Reporting. Let's get started. When you first sign up to Reach Reporting, you will be directed to the Workspace Home. The Workspace Home is a great place to manage users and connected companies. To add a company, simply click Add Company from the top right. Once you have added your company, we recommend opening up your company settings and setting a logo, as well as a theme color. You can even choose a theme color that is derived from your company logo. There are some other additional settings in the company settings that we also recommend taking a look at and updating them where needed. After you have edited your settings, click Save. Reach Reporting allows you to create dashboards and reports with advanced analytics and business intelligence quickly. Let's open up a company and show you a glimpse of what Reach is capable of. Once you open the company, you will notice a couple of different output options, such as dashboards. Reach Reporting also has a couple of different input options like budgets and sheets. Sheets allows you to bring in even more data that might not be in your bookkeeping software. We also have a client portal section that lets you provide a secure login. You are able to share uploaded reports and dashboards with your clients. Beneath the client portal, you can also access your company's settings from within the company, as well as see the last time synced or even force a manual sync. Let's navigate to the dashboard section. Here you will notice a couple of default dashboards. To add new dashboards, you can click this button in the upper right. You will see the variety of reach templates that you have access to. To add, simply click a dashboard and then select Add. Let's go ahead and open this dashboard here. This is one of the dashboards that has already come pre-built, so it is going to pull in our data as well as our chosen theme color. At any point, you can edit any one of these metrics by selecting the menu and choosing Edit. This will always open up a new tab to the metric builder. Within the metric builder, you can add additional rows and columns of data, as well as blank rows or columns to input formulas. Reach Reporting also uses similar formulas to Excel as you can see here. Once we have the data above the way we want, we can choose the output we want the data to be in below by changing the chart type. Once you are done building your metric, you can click Save and Close to navigate back to the dashboard. Now, let's take a quick peek at a report inside of Reach. On each one of these template reports, you will notice the theme color here. This can be changed, and this will change the theme color throughout the report. Our reports will pull in the book month, and as you can see this report is actually pulling in live data. Anything can be customized in this report. Once you have it, the way you want you can easily add it to the client portal or export it to PDF with this button here. If you ever have any questions on how to do something in Reach, you can use the video tutorials. Here you can watch a quick 1-2 to two minute video on some of the features in Reach. This video just scratches the surface of what is possible with Reach. So once you get your company connected, be sure to book a demo to explore even more of what you can do in Reach.